to Mr. Larry Bullard. Come on forward. He, he's, he's in his 70s. I'm not going to tell you exact number. But the past 52 years, God has given him nuggets. He actually had a near-death experience. And everything you're seeing now, he's told pastors 25 years ago. And I want you to talk about your near-death experience, and then go ahead. Hi. I'm the only person here that I can guarantee you none of, have, none of you have ever heard of me. Here's why. I died in 68, and God showed me everything that was going to happen from then until just a little bit past now. And he said, he said, you will, he said, you will not go out until your hair is salt and pepper and America is that close to collapse. And he gave me a guideline for how I'm supposed to prepare this book. It is meditation. I go to God and God says, do this, study that, go here, go there, work here, work there. I do what God tells me. For example, he infiltrated Monsanto. He worked in the Canadian government. He was getting hands-on experience. And nuggets, when he prayed in the morning, the Lord told him. And then he had all this, you know, God showed him. Continue. <laughs> anyway, what God said is you have to give the people a book that they can use to get their power back. So he had me write a book that's 100% history married to the Bible. And what I looked for were what I call tipping points in history, things that are absolutely concrete that cannot be refuted. And when I found one, I asked, is it, re is it replicable? And if it's replicable, then I talk about it in the book. So let me give you a couple of quick examples, and then I'll close and tell you where we're at right now. So basically, we've got, what, elected presidents or selected presidents? It started with McKinley. When they found out that they could buy the office of the president, every office since then has been put in, it's elected, they're just dropped in place. And then World War I, that was the most amazing story you'd ever imagine. America became the wealthiest nation in the world in 34 years under a system called, you've got to find out about it, the American economic system, which equalized and elevated all of mankind. And the British said, enough of that, and they caused World War I and killed 15 million people so they could keep control of control by the sea. And now another replicable moment, so they use war against us to drive us into bankruptcy so they can spread their network of central banks around the world. And so basically what this book tells you is if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. And the thing that they try to tell you is it is so difficult, you can't do it. No, it's not. If you know the truth, then when they tell you the lie, you automatically pay no attention to it. And all we have to do is stand up armed with the truth and say, no, Gandhi saved. So, so I, I want you to talk about China. So. Uh, and by the way, he doesn't have that many books. Come tomorrow, he's got a few. But anyway, but, but the point is, is, is go, talk to China. What's how and come close. Uh, All right. <laughs> China's going to fall. China's going to fall. What's going to happen is that... What is going to happen is that the dollar is going to be spread in a basket of several currencies. We are going to deglobalize. China is going to fall. I could talk for an hour about it. When that happens, what the world is saying, we no longer want to be controlled by China. We no longer want to be controlled by America. We want to bring back, if we only knew it, the American economic system, an economic system that makes products designed to last for generations, that gives people products that are worth buying, and that elevates and equalizes the condition of all mankind on Earth and ends the cause of war and division between people. And all we have to do is understand what made America great. They've taken it out, we plug it back in. China will fall, the greatest void in the history of the world will be created, and America will consume that void, and we will once again be the absolute, undisputed king of the world. We will restore peace and prosperity to the entire world. And it all goes back to Abraham and the promise and the covenant God made with America. Thank you, guys. God bless you, Clay. Thank you for everything you do. We love you. We bless you. Mwah. Bye, everyone. Love you, Nate. Thank you. All right, let's hear Brianna Kate. Yes. Okay, a quick survey here. How many of you, this is your first Reawaken America tour event to come to? Oh, well, thank you for lowering your standards to be here.